What's going on guys, Cecil here, welcome to Pokemon Go. Today I will show you how to move without moving in this game. So let's get started. But first of all, let me just catch this burning stuff, burning horse. I mean, you know what, if a horse is burning, you definitely know that this is going to be a good thing, right? I mean, anything that has fire in it is definitely a good Pokemon. Did I, did I get that right? There we go. Thank God. Get your horsey. Anyways, like I said, today I will show you how to move without moving in this game. And before I start saying anything... Uh, if it's not obvious enough, this is actually quite not legal. So yeah, you've been warned this can actually get you soft banned. But if you ask me, I actually don't think that it is fair for it to be uh, illegal. You know, I mean, I know that this is the point of the game and all. The point of the game is that you can actually go outside and walk in the streets so that you would catch Pokemon and stuff. But they didn't keep in consideration or they didn't put into consideration that there are some people out there that might have some sort of problems that they won't be able to leave their house. And they are gamers, for example. There are, gamer, there are gamers out there that have some sort of disability or maybe there are gamers that are living in areas that are completely deserted from Pokemon. And yes, there are some places around this world that have absolutely no Pokemon around them. So if you think about it, it's kind of not fair for someone living in a deserted area to not be able to get Pokemon at all. And at the same time, someone living in New York in front of Central Park will be able to get all the Pokemon he wants especially if he is next to a Pokestop that's always Lord or something. Anyways without further ado let's get right into telling you how to move without moving in this game. Holy shit a Charmander I, I want to capture this moment I want to capture hold on guys I'm gonna capture this moment in this video because I want to remember it. I mean I know that I've caught I actually have caught a ton of Charmander before why do I want to capture it? I don't know but I just want to I just want to capture the moment I mean come on get in the get, get in the freaking ball Charmander get in the freaking ball Charmander I don't I, I I really don't wanna, I mean like, don't make me, maybe because he has actually CP 100, no actually, there are Charmanders that have more than CP than 100, a lot, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay, that, that got, got you, got you motherfucker. Wait a minute, this is the first Charmander of mine in this account, yes, I actually created a brand new account so that I would show you this method because I don't really wanna use my regular account that I play Pokemon Go with uh, to show you that method. I'm talking about and as you can see I'm still level 13 and the other account I was level 19 so yeah I, I just made that account yesterday the first thing you want to know about moving without moving is the method I'm talking about right now uh, does not require a phone it only requires a PC so first of all let me show you the moving without moving that I've got so all you gotta do is you just bring down a map and then move your cursor that that blue pin is technically you that's that's your character in this map so you move it a little bit to the forward or backwards or the right or the left or whatever and then click play and you'll find your character moving towards the pin that you have uh, that you have placed however you can't really place the pin very far away you can't place it here for an example or something no you cannot you cannot go far away from the pin that you have placed in the first place because it will be quite detectable so yeah you will have to move the pin just slowly just slowly so that you wouldn't really mess up the systems because they will be able to detect you if you move the pin far away they will know that you are actually cheating since teleporting does not exist in real life. Um, oh crap, I forgot where the pin was. I forgot where the pin was. Where, where was I? I? I think I was next to this, uh, I don't know. I think I was next to this uh, bus station. I'm not sure. Okay, hopefully I'm not very far. Hopefully I'm not very far. Okay, oh, oh thank God. Just three, just three foot away. Okay, whatever. So yeah, since I've showed you how you use that fake GPS that I'm talking about right there and how it works, you just move the spin a little bit so that you will keep moving and unfortunately you'll have to do that every time you have to move. So you are going to have to go to the map a lot which is quite which is quite annoying actually but uh, that's that's still better than getting out of the house in my opinion if you can't leave your house for some reason that's still better and you cannot be mugged by doing that so you can play whenever you want in the midnight or whatever so how this works this works using an android simulator called blue stacks i'm gonna leave a link for it in the description below just like console emulators there are console emulators there is playstation 3 emulator no there is no there is no playstation 3 i mean there is but it's, it's not really it's not really very powerful i'm getting off topic here so yeah you're going to need to use bluestacks which is an android emulator i think i said simulator before that was a mistake it's an emulator not a simulator um they are very close to each other so you'll find me making a mistake by saying simulator a lot on this video just ignore it now in this blue stacks the android emulator uh you're going to need a bunch of programs to install inside uh blue stacks now actually blue stacks is not really very hard after you install it you'll figure out you you'll figure out how to use it by yourself it's not really that hard but obviously you will need first of all you will need pokemon go i just went into the same exact game that i was playing you're going to need pokemon go uh app and i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below and in order for you to be able 
able to uh, install it you're going to need okay I'm gonna extend your monitor a little bit so yeah this button APK install APK after you finish it you will find um, you'll find the browser and you just go into the files that you have downloaded from the links in the description and you'll be able to click one of them and click open and it's gonna install automatically whatever the file that you just clicked so yeah the bluestack simulator is not really complicated so easy you'll figure this out so easily but uh, the programs that you're gonna need like I said is Pokemon Go that's the most important obviously like come on you will also need this uh, wh wh where the hell is it okay uh, it's another program but it's it's shy for some reason it doesn't want to appear in the camera but uh, there is another program that you're gonna need it's called King Root I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below the next thing you're gonna want is Lucky Patcher I'll also leave a link for it in the description below and what Lucky Patcher does is that it makes you able to use the fake GPS by scrolling down like that instead of having to click on fake GPS manually so yeah it's pretty cool stuff and obviously you will also need the fake GPS itself duh obviously like come on so uh, yeah these are basically the thing all the uh, files that you're gonna need I'm gonna leave a link for everything in the description below the process of installing everything is just so simple and easy and there is nothing wrong with them but there are some few things that are a little bit complicated I would like to point out so that making the installation for you much easier the first complicated thing I want to point out is after you install Lucky Patcher and after we install fake GPS inside uh, the Bluestacks emulator what you want to do is to go to rebuild and install then go into SD card and go down into Windows and then go into B shared uh, wait what, what what's it called B shared folder okay BST shared folder and once you click on that you will find the fake GPS installed right there what you want to do is to click on it and then you will want to click on install as a system app not install not rebuild not whatever the hell that first sentence is after that you will wanna go back into the main uh, one about you know just close the entire app and, and open it again okay you, you wanna go back into the main lucky patcher uh, home page or folder or whatever the hell you wanna call it and then you're gonna wanna click in the search button and then click filters and after that you're gonna wanna click in the system apps right there the one that I just clicked I don't have to explain it specifically the third one from the uh, I don't the, the one that I just clicked okay the third one from the last I I don't really have to be extremely specific about everything uh, do I okay never mind so anyways system apps you need to click on this one and then click apply and you will find and you will find oh here is King Root I missed you buddy this is the one I was talking about King Root let me just launch it for you a little bit so that you know what I was talking about so yeah this is what King Root is about it actually it basically optimize your uh, it optimize your entire emulator so that it makes sure that everything is working properly and everything is safe and after that you are going to okay hold on toggle on axle waiting no do not ignore that one okay so actually it makes sure that uh, the blue stacks emulator is safe and as you can see it says that all safe all safe all safe which means it is but in the beginning it, it will say it's not so you'll have to optimize it and say fix it and stuff and whatever anyways let's go back into lucky patcher shall we or shall we not whatever so what I was saying is click on the search button and then click on filters and after that click on system apps I don't have to be specific and then click apply and you'll find a bunch of stuff just ignore all that except King Groot because he's my he's my friend I love him and you will go to oh crap where is it oh a fake GPS there we go you will find it right here so that's the trick in order for you to be able to launch fake GPS now what you want to do is to click on launch and you will find you'll find the search you can actually click whatever address you want I chose to go to New York because they say that New York is the best place in the entire world to play Pokemon Go at they some some people say that they actually create the game just for that uh, country or state or whatever city or whatever you want to call it okay whatever the hell that place you want to call all right now the next thing you want to do is to go into this one upper right corner and click on settings now I want you to check those first three sentences or those first three uh, settings or those, the, those first three options right there the next thing I want to point out is you are gonna have to click on settings uh yeah you can see it okay let me just move your screen a little bit to the up there we go setting isn't that awesome by the way I can control the video like I can go up and down that that's pretty cool anyways the next thing you want to do is to click on settings right there and then click on settings again I don't know why the hell would you want us to click the same exact word twice but it doesn't really matter and then you want to go into location and there are some ways that 
they will, are going to find out your location. First of all, you're going to go to mod and make it device only. That's the first thing I want you to do. The second thing is that there is uh, something about Google location. Just make sure that it's off. Another thing I want you to do is to go into the search in the upper, uh, in the in the bottom left corner of the Windows 10. I'm using Windows 10 and go to locations. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how it works in the other windows, but you'll figure it out. Go to locations and make sure that you change that into off and change that into off because you don't really want your computer to detect your actual GPS in the world because then it's going to mess up a little bit with the emulator and the game and basically your computer will explode. So yeah, that's basically all you need to do in order for you to be able to play Pokemon Go and move without moving in this game. Let's end the video by catching that motherfucker. Oh mate, okay Mr. Pinsir, you're going down. I got the Pinsir. It doesn't really mean anything to me more.